Hi, this is Victor, and I'm the Director of Content with Blue Dad. Today, we're going to take a look at some common issues that individuals encounter while in the public right away. As always, I'll just be discussing the basic requirements from the 2010 ADAS without really going into a lot of the exceptions or various design options. This curb ramp has excessive running slope. The maximum running slope of a curb ramp must be 8.3%. The curb ramp must have a maximum cross slope of 2%. Side flares can have a maximum slope of 10% with some exceptions. This curb ramp was also designed without a landing for an individual to safely turn and change directions at the top of the ramp. We'll also document changes in level at the curb ramp and where the gutter meets the asphalt of the street, as these are part of the accessible route. The maximum allowable counter slope of the gutter at the bottom of the ramp is 5%. This design is something that's commonly seen and that individuals encounter on a daily basis in the public right away. I would like to note that if you see something that doesn't apply to you, please remember that we are filming in California, which has its own additional requirements.